Hi my YouTube family. Well I wanted to show y'all what I'm making for fall and it can be for Thanksgiving too. Um, as you know I live in Louisiana and fall doesn't hit us until like late September, October and November. So I wanted to show y'all these little goodie boxes of thanks. I'm calling them um, thankful boxes. And these are some little boxes I made. Made this one. And some little embellishments I put on them with the uh, little band um, to keep the box closed. Give thanks. And this one I have fall on it. And then this one I just put the pumpkins with the flowers on it. Now, um, you can take the, let me move these for a second, for a second show. You can take the belly band off, whoops, and um, I just put a little foam sticker on it. And you open it up right here, and mine is holding candy, because I'm thankful for chocolate. <laughs> M&M's and a Snickers bar, and then you just... Close it up right there. You put the little belly band on it, and then you put your little your little foam sticker on it, or however you want to stick it down. And there you go. So I thought I'd do a small tutorial, or try to do a tutorial for y'all. So that's what I made. So all you need to make these little boxes. It's one of these, the envelope punch board. So if you have that, you can make this. And all you get a 6x6 six six paper. And this was from Target last year. Remember, guys, the 6x6 six six papers we got at Target, the Halloween papers and the, um, See, it was the Halloween paper and the fall paper, and I don't remember what the other ones were. But anyway, this is what I had got for um, fall, my fall paper pad I took it out of. And this, you don't throw it away. I use this as my belly band. Don't throw nothing away, guys. So, you take this, and at on your scoring board right here at one and a half, let me see if I can let y'all see this better. I, I'm horrible at this. Jeez Louise. Can y'all see it? Okay. You go to your one and a half mark on here. One and a half. And you punch it. And then... Uh-oh. I thought I had everything. I need my bone folder thing. You take the little bone folder thing right here. And then you score it at one and a half. Then you go to three and you punch it. Then you take your bone folder thingy and you score it at one and a half. Then you push your paper all the way to the end. You don't punch it, but you just score it right here. Like that. Come so. You can see it better on the back. Okay, so these are the ones we just did. So then you just turn it. And then on your second, on your first score, your big score right here, okay, where this thing lines up to it, it lines up to where you scored it. Okay, you line that. You don't punch it. You don't punch it. You just score it. Well, yes, you do punch it. I lied. You punch it. So you punch it there, and then you go to the second where you had scored it. Line it up. And then uh, you punch it again, and you score it. Then you turn it around. And you, you line it up to your first score mark. And you score it, punch it, go to your second one, 
punch it, score it, and then on this one you go all the way to the end, like we did on the other one, and you score it just on this one right here. Then you turn this one around, like this, you go to your first score line, you punch it, and you score it. Then you go to that second score line, and you score it. Let me see. I never get it all the way in. <laughs> oh, did I forget to punch it again? Yes, I did. Let me just punch it right there, because I forgot. Um, on your second score line, you punch it like that. Then you got all these. Now you can move that because you're done with that. Raise it up a little bit for you. So then you got that. Then you're going to fold them. You fold it in. You fold it on your score lines. You fold it in. And then you fold it in. And then on these corners right here, you just, the one we took all the way to the end and we just scored it, we didn't punch, you cut those off. Okay. And then down here, right here, you just make a slit all the way down to your score line. And make a slit all the way down to your score line. Turn it around make a slit all the way to the score line you might want to put glasses on like I should do because I can't really see I'm guesstimating and then make sure you got all your little score lines you know folded over so then you take your little slits right here and I don't have that glue that I want um, Tina Massey is supposed to order us some but I sure want to try it because they say it dries faster. Well, my cauliflower, I just used this. Okay, and you put some little glues right here. And then you put some little, I guess you could use some of that double-sided tape too if you wanted to. If you didn't want to wait for the glue to dry. It's whatever you want. And then you just even it on the sides where, you know, your box is, you know, the corners. You get it even. And this glue takes a minute to dry. I could sing for y'all while it's drying. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Okay, y'all don't want to hear me sing. But if y'all did want to hear me sing <laughs> I like to lie to myself. I like to think people like to hear me sing. Um, oh, my shack, come on. So, put some glue on this one. And some glue on this one. I don't want to put too much because it takes a while for this to dry. And then you just even it. Right, like so. And then you got your little box. These are your tabs that go in. I gotta let this dry for a moment. Make sure it's even. Huh. Yep, it's pretty even. Now, okay, so then you take your little tab here, and I guess you could. It fits. I just make it a little loose. And then I just turn it right here and I hold it for a second so, oops, so it can dry. That way you didn't waste any of the paper, guys. You used all of your little paper. And um, like I said, you can use double-sided tape or that fast-drying glue. I don't know what it's called, but... I see a lot of crafters use it, Happy Mail from the Heart, and and a lot of crafters use that glue, but I don't know the name of it. Anyway, but I just use what I got. Use what you have. Old Elmer's has been here a long time. <laughs>
can't forget about what works. It works. You just got to have patience. Okay. Which, you know, I don't have. And, okay, so you let your little belly band dry like that. Let your little box dry. But then once your box dries, you can close it. You put your candy in it. Like, here's some Snickers. My little boy likes Snickers. You put your candy. You can put two candies in it. Put some M&M's in it. Mm-hmm. I like M&M's with nuts because I'm nuts. And then you close your box like this. And then you put your belly band on it like, like this, and it keeps it closed. And then I didn't make another one, so let me see. I don't want to take that one off. So you can um, put your little thing on it and see. Isn't that cute? Okay, guys, I tried to show y'all a tutorial, and I'm not that great at tutorials. <laughs> so these are my Thanksgiving boxes, but um, if you want to give thanks, you can, you know, hand out little thank, thank you boxes. You can put money in them. You can put um, just notes in them and hand them to someone. Let them know what you're thankful for. Or whatever and then for Halloween you can make them in the Halloween paper and embellish them and then you can uh, you know make them scary and then you can put candy in them so it's whatever you want to do look my fox guys isn't that cute give thanks cuz I'm a foxy lady no I'm just playing and um, the fall one and uh, I don't know why this one. This is the only one I'm having trouble with with the foam tape. And this one. So y'all let me know what y'all think about my little Thanksgiving boxes. What you want to give thanks for. I'm going to be making a bunch because I like them. I'm going to put different stuff in them. And y'all let me know what y'all think about it. And um, I just want to show y'all that and show y'all how horrible I am at tutorials. <laughs> this is why y'all don't ask Sarah to do a tutorial. <laughs> but I tried, guys. So, and, um, yep, that's all I want to show y'all. If y'all have the, the envelope punch board, y'all can make these little boxes with some scissors, glue, and the punch board. So, yep, yeah, and 6x6 six six paper. And then y'all can embellish it however y'all want. So, yep, guys, y'all know what time it is, right? Wrap your arms around yourself. Squeeze real tight. I'm giving you a hug, a big hug. And if no one's told you today, I'm going to tell you. I love you. You are beautiful. You are special. And God loves you, too. And guys, if y'all can keep my stepbrother in y'all prayers, um, he had two major strokes and I just got a phone call today. They expect him to pass away at any time. Um, he was my favorite stepbrother in the whole world. Keep Hunter in y'all prayers because Hunter's sick. And Miss Linda Crespo's sister's mother-in-law is... Um, going to pass away at any time also so please keep them in your prayers also all the hurricane um, people in Houston, Corpus Christi and anywhere else that the hurricane's trying to go because the rain's coming our way and we're already getting too much rain so yep guys keep us all in your prayers and I love you y'all let me know what y'all think about my boxes down below bye